also miss it. Hi, so it's been a while since I've done this. I have a huge box. We're gonna do this. I've collected all my trash just for you. Sounds so romantic. Here are my empties. Okay, let's start with this one. This is a Herbal Essences Bio Renew Volume of White Grapefruit and Mosa. So apparently it has tapioca that instantly absorbs oil. Now I love dry shampoos and if you've been watching my empties for a while now, you know I go through dry shampoos quite a lot. Um, so basically they are meant to take away the oil from the scalp. I also use it as a voluminizer because I have really really fine hair. So sometimes I even spray it like on the mid and mid section or even the ends just to thicken it up. It's almost like putting talcum powder in your hair. My problem with a lot of dry shampoos are these two things, right? One is some of them smell really bad. Like they smell okay in the can, but then on your hair it smells like really bad. Like I don't know why it mixes with your normal hair oil or maybe it's just my hair oil and it smells awful. Some of them smell bad and the other thing is some of them don't really do the job of cutting the grease. Now, so this one, I, I love the smell. It's the white grapefruit and mosa mint. It smells so fresh and so clean as a lot of herbal essences stuff does. It doesn't do a great super job of getting rid of the oil. I have this one here that I didn't look off. Yeah, it doesn't have the, it doesn't do a great job getting rid of oil, but I will discount that because it smells so good. Next we have the fresh, I can't pronounce this, Hes, Hesperides? <laughs> Is the fresh Hesperides grapefruit bath and shower gel with citrus fruit extract. I generally don't like uh, the smell or even the taste of citrusy things. I find it too sharp. This one is really nice though. Even though it says citrus here, um, it's actually well balanced with a certain amount of sweetness. Mm, you can smell it. It's, it's just a tiny hint of zingy because of the grapefruit of course, but it's really refreshing and I don't know, something about this scent is really nice. It's actually kind of nuanced. Like citrusy can just smell like sharp. I don't know how, to, how I'm really describing this, but this one smells like a rounded sharpness, if that makes sense, right? Like a bit sweet and a bit citrusy and very fresh smelling, and it's it really is awesome. It says it's supposed to gently cleanse and it's invigorating. It really is, and it's supposed to be extra moisturizing with shea butter and vitamin C and E. I didn't find it extremely moisturizing, but it could be because I have really, 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 really dry skin. Um, but I would purchase this again just because of the smell, my goodness, and it does feel um, gentle-ish enough on the skin. From body cleansers I loved to one that I really didn't love. Now this is the Dove Shower Foam. So firstly, this is a personal preference, but I don't like when my the sh like um, when liquid soap comes out as a foam because I think because I use a loofah and I use sponges, I prefer it to come out as a thick liquid and then I will foam it up uh, with my applicator so that's one down for them the second is I really didn't like the scent it's sheer butter with warm vanilla which I thought I would like because I really like vanilla like candles even my perfume always uh, most of my perfumes have vanilla under like um, under notes or base notes sorry um, but this one yeah I just didn't like it at all I ended up using like a little bit of it and then I I didn't want to use it anymore and my husband like thankfully finished the rest of it because yeah, waste not, why not? It is finished. I just really like this. Will not purchase again. I started using monthly contacts again. So this is the Optifree Replenished Enhanced Comfort. I just picked this up at um, like Garden or Watson's and that's because uh, Olens sent me a bunch of lenses and those are monthlies so I've had to use um, contact lens solution again which I haven't used in years but I've been thinking of switching back to monthlies for a few reasons one is I really like this colour so I might stick with it two is um, it's more environmentally friendly because the dailies like every day it's a new plastic piece it's a new foil wrapper right whereas for a monthly you just do that once a month so that's literally saving 29 other pairs it could also be counted as like 58 pieces of plastic that I'm saving every month so I, I think I might switch back to that um, of course you need a solution when you use monthly contacts so I started using this um, no we purchased it just because it's inexpensive I think it's one of the most affordable ones that's why I bought it it comes with a free lens case so I, I try to change the case I think it's cleaner and um, that's the job I have not had any infections that's why I switched to daily contacts since I was starting to get infections from monthly ones I thought dailies would be cleaner yeah that's the job what we purchase Okay, here are some of the vitamins that I take every month and these need no introduction. I've talked about them in previous empty 
these videos. Uh, we have the women's ultra mega formula from GNC, so that's just a multi bite. I recently started taking triple strength fish oil. Uh, fish oil because it has omega 3 fatty acids. Uh, which is good for the brain and good for just general like there's vitamin E and um, and it also supports heart health it's supposed to maintain healthy cholesterol and blood circulation but mostly I take this uh, for my brain and for the blood circulation because I think it helps with that time of the month I think it helps with the bloating and the cramps if everything circulates properly so yes and of course there's my maximum greens which is formulation for people who do not eat vegetables like me you need extra vegetables in the form of a pill not the most ideal but I really don't like greens so that's that Helio Care Pure White Radiance Max 240 this is um, not a sunscreen but I think it's a pill that's supposed to help you whiten and brighten overall so I like to think that it works and I take this every day this is for to keep your <clears throat> beep beep fresh I like this one because I like the scent uh, and it's 24 hour odor protection keep your underneath clean ladies there's also my favorite deodorant which is the lady speed stick um, I like the scent Orchard Blossom because it smells it's kind of like the first uh, the fresh body cleanser it's fresh and sweet without being overly sharp or cloying is that the right word? it's like a fresh sort of sweet Forget it. Anyway, I like this. It's like fruity in a fresh sweet sort of way. Whoopsie. So this is Fernanda um, in the scent Pink Euphoria and it's all in Japanese. So I, I, it's a spray sunscreen and I don't really like spray sunscreens because I feel like they don't protect as well as um, say like a gel or a cream. Also because my skin is really really dry, I prefer my sunscreens to feel moisturizing and somehow when things are gel or cream they feel more moisturizing but that's it spray sunscreens are very good for when you're outdoors um, especially when I'm on the boat because your body is kind of wet so you just towel off and before my next wakeboarding set I will spray some of this mm. and you know what I really like about this one so it comes out really fine I don't know if it actually works as a sunscreen but it smells so good this pink euphoria scent okay obviously there's none left but it smells more like a perfume than a sunscreen. It's like a very fruity, sweet floral that's again not cloying. It's, it's really, really nice. So I don't know where I got this. I would want to buy it again just for the scent. Uh, another spray sunscreen is this La Roche Posay one. And this is like for the face. It's called the Invisible Faced Mist for sun sensitive skin. So it's supposed to leave, leave a really light uh, layer on the skin. Uh, again, I say I prefer to put creams or gels. But I usually bring this out on the boat and I give my face a good spritz uh, just to touch up and it does the job. It indeed is invisible and it goes into your skin really uh, lightly so I would repurchase this again um, for outdoor sports. So this is my current favourite sunscreen. This is the Supergoop 100% Mineral Matte Sunscreen SPF 40. You can see it's totally done. Uh, I've just repurchased this. The new one comes with a yellow cap. The packaging is just slightly different but it's the same formulation I think feels the same at least. It's one universal tint. It's sweat and water resistant for up to 40 minutes so I use this for outdoor sports um, but I also use this for daily use because it goes on like a dream. It goes on like a velvet um, and it's a perfect base for makeup but I also like it because it is slightly tinted so it goes on almost like a tinted sunscreen. A very light one so you know most days now I've actually stopped using foundation. I think it's just like circuit breaker and then now we use masks everywhere so I just stop using a lot of makeup so this kind of is on my base most days I like it because I feel like my skin is protected from the sun uh, but it's still kind of evened out a little bit just the slightest hint of it it's also not um, greasy it doesn't make me break out and it's a mineral sunscreen I think that means it is it has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide so it's more like a physical sunscreen right rather than like a chemical one so I like that this is like my favorite eyebrow pencil ever. I've talked about this in another video. If you are full blonde like me and you want to know how to do your hair, uh, sorry, do your brows to match your hair, go watch that tutorial. I'll link it for you below. But in the meantime, this is the XL brow pencil in the shade PD08. It's basically like um, there's a powder, right? And then there's a pencil here. I lost the cap. And then there's that uh, like a brush. 
for your eyebrows. So I like it because it's all in one, it's the right shade. The only problem with this I find is, okay, it's the it's like a double-edged sword. So you can't overdraw because it's a bit waxy and the colour doesn't come off like really harsh. So if you're a very noob at drawing eyebrows, I think it's good. Uh, the downside is it takes a while to draw because of the fact that it, the colour doesn't come out so much. You kind of have to draw a lot. So you, number one, you use a lot of product. Number two, you use a lot more time trying to draw it in, although you can get it a bit more precise. So it really depends on what you like. I mostly like it for the colour. I wish it were easier to draw, but the colour is really good for blondes. I find that, it, at least for me, it really matches um, when I have lighter hair colour. I have it on now as well, so you can see it's not overly blonde or yellow. It's just It just helps to lighten the brows if you have coloured hair. This needs no introduction. This is one of my favourite products. This is the Clarins Shaving Facial Lift. The contouring serum, so this kind of drains your face of water retention and gives it a V shape, lifts up the skin. It is kind of my script to keeping my face looking lifted and V shaped, so I definitely have been using this for years. I would say, really, years, like I would say at least five or more years now, and I have repurchased this again. So, this is the Auron, it's like a syringe, right? So, it comes out like that, and it's a hyaluronic acid collagen essence. It's supposed to be hydrating, whitening, anti-aging, soothing, and repairing. Don't know if it does all that, but it is really hydrating, like without being oily. So I really like it. This was bought for me by Fanny, my hairstylist. She bought it from Australia, I think. She bought me a few of these syringe val vels, via syringe things, vels, vels. Why can I somehow say it? Vial. Look at those vials. Yeah, bought me a few of these syringe vials and I've used them all. This is the last one. So I've replaced this with the Vichy 89 mineral formula. I don't think it's as good, but um, it does the trick. It's also hydrating. I think this is a bit more hydrating. The texture is like a goopy, what's it like a goopy liquid. It is really transparent and it goes in really, really nicely and easily. Almost like nothing and it just pumps up the skin. Perfecto. So these are my Vichy Nomadum. I really go through these. So this is the Intensive Purifying Gel. It's a gel cleanser basically. It's just like a facial wash. I think this really does the trick. It has salicylic acid. So that kind of gets deep into your pores and clears out the gunk. Uh, I would say use this with caution though. Because when I first started using it, it really made me flick like really flick and then break out because of the irritation. Uh, I did release a video on how to deal with breakouts. Breakouts is something that I've had to deal with almost all my life. Damn! And I'm still, I still get the occasional breakout. So I like this because it keeps my breakouts at bay. Um, it is very gentle, strangely enough now, but like I said, go easy on it. I would say if you're trying this for the first time, maybe you can try it like in the morning and then don't use it till like two days after that. And then maybe you can like lessen the spacing in between the time you use it right up to working to using this twice a day because I use this twice a day now and my skin is great. It's not flaky, it's not breaking out. It's, yeah, it's pretty clear. So I like this. And I use this in conjunction with the Vichy Pyto Solution Double Correction Daily Care. This is not a sponsored video by the way. I'm just sharing this because I really like it. This goes on like a gel cream texture, like a moisturizer. And like I said, the using these two together have really helped keep my breakouts at bay. I actually use this in place of moisturizer most days. Uh, only on days when I feel like my skin is very dry, then I will use a moisturizer. But then also because I've stopped using foundation, like makeup generally, I use this and then I use a tinted moisturizer or a BB or CC cream over. And that kind of does the trick, right? It, it gives me just enough hydration. Uh, but yet this has, I think this is salicylic acid as well as uh, niacinamide, which is good for clearing out the pores and also for evening out marks left from acne. So I feel like this is like a magic solution for me. It also has hyaluronic acid so that helps to plump and hydrate. So yes, it's my one of my top favourites. We'll definitely repurchase. I've already repurchased it and I'm using it and the other bottle is half finished. So, And one more from Vichy. This is the Mineral 89. Right, except this is the one for eyes because I mentioned that I've been using the 89 for the face in replacement of the Auron one. Um, or Euron, how do you pronounce it? That syringe thing, right? But this is the one for the eyes. So I, I wouldn't repurchase this. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it either. It's kind of like a serum that goes on before your eye cream. So I find it a bit leche to have two. Secondly, I didn't really feel a marked difference after using this. I think it's supposed to hydrate. Hydration is always good. 
um, but I found it a bit late as an extra step. So I think if I were to have a two-step um, routine for my under eye area, I would want it to be even more hydrating um, or, or to show me a bit more effect. I felt this was like okay, but yeah. You know, I'm not going to go through this box because it's just too many things. I'm going to stop and end this empties video for now also because um, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> It's like 2 p.m. and I want to get lunch. So I have a whole box of empties. I think we've gone on for long enough. Stay with me. I will bring you through these empties in another video. For now, drop me a line in the comment box below. Let me know what products you liked, you know, in the past, I guess, few months that you've used to the end. So maybe I can check them out as well. Um, yeah, also please do give this video a thumbs up if you like it because that lets YouTube know that you like my content. Uh, helps me make more content for you and it also makes sure that you see more of my content. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I will catch you on Facebook and on Instagram. Stay safe, stay happy. Bye! Oh, did you hear that? That was my smug.